Hello ladies and gents, and welcome to a quick demo of how you can do page flipping using a new feature of Shift and Trace. Now page flipping is something you may have seen for traditional animation where you flip the piece of paper from one drawing to the next. And you use this for drawing breakdowns between two key drawings. Now using OpenTunes there's two ways of moving around the timeline. The first is using cursor keys. Now using the timeline view it's left and right to move between frames one at a time. On the X sheet it's up and down, or you can use the angle bracket keys to move between drawings. So the right angle bracket jumps to drawing 5, left angle bracket jumps to drawing 1. And that skips any frames for held drawings. Now if I wanted to draw another bad in between, between these two keys of 1 and 5, if I go to drawing number 3, and with the use X sheet as animation sheet option in preferences, I can start drawing on frame number 3, and I'll write a number 3 at the top there, that inserts a new drawing. So now what I'd like to do is flip between drawing 1 and 5 quite quickly so I can see where I want to place the breakdown for drawing 3. And as I said, you can use the curse keys or the angle bracket keys. The angle bracket keys are more appropriate, but you still have to press them more than once. You can't flip directly between drawing 1 and drawing 5. So you press the left angle bracket, you go to drawing 1, right back to 3, right to 5. So flipping between 1 and 5 is a double key press and the single key press back to the centre to start drawing, which isn't very efficient. And you can of course use the onion skin, but many animators prefer not to use it as you end up just drawing between lines rather than drawing the shapes. So you could turn it on by clicking above drawings 1 and 5 and then draw in the middle like that. But if you don't want to use onion skinning, you can use the new page flipping facility in Shift and Trace. So you simply turn Shift and Trace on by going to the view options and clicking Shift and Trace and it automatically adds some onion skins on there for you. If they're correct, as it is for frame number five, where it's got number three here, that's fine. Number one's incorrect, so I'll turn that off and bring that to frame number one. And now you can see an onion skin for drawing number one and drawing number five. And using the shift and trace options, you can move these two drawings to make it easier to draw the middle drawing, but we just want to use the page flipping option today. So if you hover over these onion skin markers, you see it tells you you can hold the F1 key to show just this frame. On the drawing you're going to draw on, you can hold the F2 key. And on the drawing in front, you can hold the F3 key. But to do this, you must have the cursor on the drawing area. So if I press the F1 key, I see just the drawing before. Let go. Press the F3 key, I see the drawing after. And F2 is the current drawing. And most keyboards allow you to press more than one function key at once. So you can hold F1 and tap F3 to skip between drawing 1 and drawing 5. Or you can hold F2 to show the drawing you want to look at and then tap F1 and tap F3 to skip between them. Then when you're happy, release all the keys and start drawing in the centre. But to avoid seeing the onion skin between the drawings 1 and 5, if you keep F2 held down, you'll only see the centre drawing as you draw. So we'll keep F2 held down and tap F1 and F3. Draw the line and then F1, F3 again. So that's how you can use page flipping in Shift and Trace. Give it a go and see if it works for you. And that's it for today, and I'll be back on Friday with another video. And that's... A guarantee.